As part of the Scholars and Stars program, some of the elite Kenyan runners visited Elmwood School. The athletes got to check out some artwork and dances relating to the Kenyan culture the students worked on. The annual event is always one of the favorite days of the year for a lot of the students. It's awesome! Oh, oh my god, it's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Everybody says I'm lucky because I have him. Really yeah. good. Yeah, it's really cool because they're coming here and the, like they're champions of the Boston Marathon. <laughs> Uh, actually, yeah, so happy to see uh, kids in school. Also, they learn more about us because they will be a good uh, role model. It's very nice because uh, they are learning. It's, uh, it means they are learning all about uh, things which is in the world. Yeah, getting there. Now, uh, how's the, uh, how's the uh, marathon training going? Are you ready for the big day? Yeah, uh, actually the training is going well. Right, I'm preparing well for Monday, and sure. I think the weather will be good. The way the way we live in Kenya. Here's my book about my daughter. That's my daughter. That's me. That's my mom. That's my dad. That's my wife and my family. So my. My wife wrote this about the different lives between uh, Canada and Kenya. So I'm glad these kids are learning about it. Oh, wow. Yeah. So your family is from Canada? Yeah, my wife is from Canada. And, uh, yeah. I gotta ask, how'd you two be? We met in Kentucky, Lovo, Kentucky. I came from Kenya to go to Lovo under athletic scholarship, and she came from Canada, she came to Lovo. And I created a scholarship. So we met in college. Oh, wow. Yeah. Now, uh, how do you like coming here to Elmwood? No, it's so fun. It's so much fun to just see these kids put so much uh, to get these things uh, ready. It's just amazing. They, they have learned so much about Kenya. They know more about Kenya than even some of us. So it's just amazing to, to see the love and the welcome that these kids uh, give us. It makes us feel at home in Boston. How do you like all the artworks around here today? It's pretty neat, it's pretty neat. Some of this stuff, like all of these things are just traditional. Uh, you know, they're like, you know, some things that, you know, they, they have been used for so long in the past. And to come here and see these kids learning about them, uh, it's just amazing. amazing. He is an amazing individual. His brother was bitten by a black mamba snake could not get to a hospital in time, and his brother died. He vowed to do something about it and raised the money to build a small hospital in his area of the country so that would never happen to anybody else. He won the 2012 Boston Marathon. How about a great jumbo, Wesley Career? You will have chose any other country to celebrate this day, but you chose us, and for us, we are very much honored. I am so honored personally today because a couple of years today, at this particular time in 2012, on the 16th of April, I was celebrating my victory as the Boston Marathon champion. And today, I'm here to celebrate with you again that day for you guys making us feel like champion. So I'm so thankful for that. And I would like to take this opportunity as a member of Parliament of Kenya, as a leader of Kenya, and as a future president of Kenya, I would like to welcome you. I would like to take this first opportunity to welcome each and everybody here today to Kenya. If you feel like coming to visit Kenya, please come and see the country that you have displayed out there. See the people that you have learned their language. See the people that you have learned so much about and enjoy with them the same way you enjoy with us today. You have a good 
time uh, here at Elmwood today? Sure, I did. Yeah, it was a lot of fun seeing kids know a lot about Kenya, so yep. What did you think about uh, all the studying of the Kenyan culture and artwork they did today? I think they put a lot of work to do that because I don't know if I know all of it, but that's really um, amazing things to see them doing that. all, the, all of those. How did the uh, marathon training go? Are you ready for the big day? I'm here, so I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. It's great to be here in Hopkinton with everybody and you can hear all the excitement of these 469 students here at Elmwood. And on cue they cheer. But I want to tell everybody in Hopkinton what we're learning from studies. University of Illinois has done a Duke University has done a study as well. And it shows that running and rapid walking if you're an adult improves the memory and focus of our brains. And academically, I can tell you from studies that I've done that the memory and focus part of the brain that's improved in track and field helps the students so much that cross country and track and field in general are the best academic sports teams in high school and in college. So you parents out there, it helps you in many ways. And if you've got a very good student who runs, you don't have to go to college on scholarship, but it will help. When you apply, for college, make sure on your admissions documents or in your interviews that you tell the, uh, the admissions person you're speaking with that you ran track for three years, four years, whatever it is, and that you worked at it for 12 months or however long you trained and how much you improved. They love to see that discipline in allowing students into their college. So hopefully this information helps all of you.